Can you mimic how your throat feels when you're having an attack? Like that? Oh, I can't really. All right. I want you to sniff in through your nose and shh out through your mouth for as long as you can. I want to hear that shh. shh. Yeah, and when you're done exhaling, you're going to sniff in again. Yeah, and shh for as long as you can. When you're explaining the flexible fiber optic exam to the patient, I would also ask them if they can reproduce their breathing attack. Many patients will be able to and you're gonna ask them to do that again while you're scoping them so that you can see what happens. By reproducing the attack, if they are adducting, adducting their vocal folds, this is a perfect demonstration to ex explain to them what happens during a paradoxical vocal fold motion attack and introduce the breathing recovery exercises. Here's a picture of the, the toolkit that I have in my office. There's a combination of pleasant odors and not so pleasant odors, and of course that is uh, completely subjective. I use the pill organizer for some different spices, and that along with the extracts is a tool I use to see if we can find a substitute order for the individual while they're working to manage the offending odor, short term or long term. So for example, I had a patient who she had quite a complex medical history and she was in the hospital a lot, inpatient and outpatient. Her trigger was the alcohol wipes that are used in medical environments. So what we did was look for a, an odor, that something that she could smell that she liked that did not trigger an attack in the presence of her trigger and we were successfully able to do that for her. She would carry around, again, a small pill box with a cinnamon extract soaked gauze pad. And if she thought she were going to come upon the smell of alcohol or be exposed to it, she would take a sniff of her cinnamon and that prevented any further attacks. In our article, Dr. Sandage and I developed a referral checklist for the school for school age kids. Given that paradoxical vocal fold motion is often misdiagnosed as asthma and referrals may not be made right away, we thought this was a good introduction to education in the school. The referral checklist was developed as a means of communication with the medical team helping the school staff identify symptoms or at least um, observation of symptoms that could be provided as an introductory conversation with the medical team.